Well, I'm back. It's around half past midnight, and I just returned from the final Rage Grand Finals that will ever be held for Shadowverse 1. And it was promised that there would be worlds beyond news at that event, and after coming back from there in person, I can say that there was indeed news, but it's not the news we wanted. So, let's take a look, guys. Yes, it's true. Worlds Beyond has been delayed to spring 2025, the original release date being summer this year, which, you know, it is currently summer right now, so obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, spring 2025 means that optimistically like nine months away, which is almost a year. That is really tough. And I'll have another video in the future talking about my plans for content creation and like how the channel is going to operate for the next nine months before Worlds Beyond comes out, but that is for a later date. Let's take a look at the exact wording here on the Shadowverse News website. In last year's Shadowverse Next 2024 stream, we announced that Shadowverse Worlds Beyond would be released in summer 2024. However, in the interest of further improving the game's quality, we have decided to push back the release date to spring 2025. We sincerely apologize to all our players who have been waiting for the release. The development team is hard at work making Shadowverse Worlds Beyond the best it can be. In the meantime, Time, we kindly ask for your patience. With regards to tournaments, schedules will also be updated to accommodate the new release period. For instance, the Shadowverse World Championship will be rescheduled for the end of 2025. While there will be changes to the number of invitational spots and the qualifying tournaments themselves will be affected, players who have already earned a spot will still be able to participate in the World Championship. Further updates will be announced separately in Spring 2025, which is when the game is slated to release, I suppose. Thank you for your continued support of Shadowverse, Shadow team. Well, dang. This is also pretty big news. The changes to the number of invitational spots is also interesting. I wonder if that's going to affect SVO, which is my circuit. But anyway, uh, yeah, pretty big bummer, honestly. This does affect pretty much everybody, and especially, like, you know, the pro players who signed on for these events, uh, or to play Shadowverse Worlds Beyond this year, uh, as well as content creators such as myself and others. Uh, I think I'll be okay, because I have several safety nets. I'll cover that more in a future video about my plans going forward, but, yeah, it really does hurt that uh, this is going to affect the community quite a bit, especially since the delay is so long. Like, honestly... I kind of understand trying to get out of the summer 2024 spot. You're going to have to compete with Elden Ring, Shadow of Erdtree, as well as uh, Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. So, like, if they released now, Shadowverse would have been cooked anyway. But nine months delay is a really long time and, like, way more than I think a lot of people were anticipating. So, to sort of soften the blow, they did announce a little bit about the data link bonuses going into Worlds Beyond. So, you can earn bonuses based on three categories, gameplay achievements, collection, and data linking. So, this is information that we were asking for basically since December. Uh, like, a little more information about what carries over from Shadowverse 1 into Worlds Beyond. So, first of all, gameplay achievement bonuses. You will earn bonuses based on rank, event wins, and other gameplay milestones achieved while playing Shadowverse 1. The bonuses are as follows. For achieving certain rank milestones, you get pack tickets. For achieving master rank, you get the Shadowverse Rex Flare. For achieving Grand Master rank, you get the sleeves for each season. For achieving Challenge Master, the flare for each season. For top three and master score rankings, the corresponding flare for each season. For top ranks in certain tournaments, a tournament flare for each tournament. And for reaching level 100 in the Shadowverse class, card styles for certain followers from the corresponding class in Shadowverse Worlds Beyond. This is one of the coolest things that they announced here. So basically, Alt R are now a type of item called a card style. So you get to change the art. So in Worlds Beyond, the new fairy art is this, which is a cool reveal. But if you got level 100 in Forest Craft in Shadowverse 1, you get to change it to the OG art. So that's quite nice. Uh, also, in regards to the tournament flares, it's apparently mainly for tournaments that had cash prizes. So they'll talk more about the tournaments that are affected at a later date. So anyway, the card style style item is also interesting because they kind of announced the each one that for each class. So Swordcraft, you get the original Knight, Runecraft, the original Clay Golem, Dragoncraft, the original Dragon, Haven, the original Holy Falcon. Portal, you get Leia Bellringer Angel, which is kind of a reveal, basically, right? We did not know about Leia Bellringer Angel before, so that is literally a reveal. 
Although I think it was in the trailer, actually, now that I think about it. It was so long ago now that I don't even remember. <laughs> but yes, uh, you get the Bellring Angel Altered. And also Holy Falcon revealed to be a 2-2 stat line instead of a 2-1 stat line, which is pretty interesting too. Uh, and also for Shadow and Blood, it's for Abyss Crash, right? So that makes sense. So it's kind of interesting. These tokens all confirming to uh, be in the new game. So that's something. Also, for uh, the collection you have in Shadowverse 1, you get items in Shadowverse 2, Shadowverse Worlds Beyond. So, for each home screen background you have, you get a corresponding home screen background in the new game. For each leader, now this is the big one that people are asking about, excluding tie-in leaders, what you get is an emblem and a poster. So you don't get a new leader in the new game, you get an emblem and a poster. Now what is the poster? It's a new item in Worlds Beyond where you can decorate your personal room in the uh, overworld lobby. Fill the room with art you love, customized frames and all. This is really interesting because personal rooms in the lobby, it pretty much confirms player housing for Shadowverse Worlds Beyond, which was something that I was hoping for. So that's kind of an interesting confirmation here. Also, the bonus for home screen backgrounds is everything from June 17th onwards, including the seventh anniversary wallpapers from the eight main characters. So that's good too. Uh, nice. All right. Uh, finally, you also get, uh, you know, the Shatterers default sleeves, the Shatterers battle records, and pack tickets for linking your game data. So that is the all, oh uh, man, I'm still like so flustered because uh, that is all the news for Worlds Beyond that we got today. Uh, the data link stuff is nice to get a confirmation on, but honestly, the biggest news is obviously the, the delay, and it is really, really disappointing. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll have a video in the coming days about my plans for the channel uh i guess as a as a little sneakity peekity like i will be making content on throwback rotation but i really think the frequency of my uploads will probably go down so just uh be prepared for that and don't be too disappointed when i announce that in another video so <laughs> all right guys uh well let me know what you think in the comments down below i know it's a huge disappointment that um the game is getting delayed but like honestly if it does make a better product uh it is probably for the best it's just that i am worried about the the loss of momentum and the loss of hype for the Shadowers IP in general. And I mean, like, good for me that I, I still have the ambassadorship with Shadowverse Evolve, and Shadowverse Evolve is still going, but yeah, the Shadowverse IP is gonna take a huge hit because of this. But anyway, let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts, your ideas of what I can do in the future. And uh, yeah, and I guess, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but <laughs> this is very important news to talk about. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching y'all. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.